Hey, what's going on? Let's do a little uh, Google Maps fishing today. Just driving around looking for um, little creeks, well, parts of creeks that I haven't done before. Um, right now I'm at the East Fork Little Miami River, kind of past Milford towards Owens, uh, Owensville. Um, I'm gonna go for a little smallies, all kinds of multi-species that I can catch. Um, we'll start off with the mystery tackle box lure right there. Just a, This is from the Panfish edition. Gets kind of deep there, and uh, we're gonna throw that in. I like that blue and black. We got a little bit of overcast today. This is the current temperature. It's a nice day. It's pretty mild. So let's see what we can get. There we go, finally. Finally. Got a little smally. There we go. Little Creek Smalley. Little Creek Smalley. First Smalley of 2020. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that guy. Another beautiful long ear. All right, I've noticed that this uh, creek has got a lot of minnows that kind of kind of have this look so let's match the hatch and see if we get a little better luck. I'm not going to use a bobber. The only weight I got is what's in the end of this trout magnet hook. There we go. It's a little largemouth. Stick around because later in this video we'll be catching larger largemouths and much more. Right here at the mouth of the waterfall. You want to add a new species? I think mine's a little. There we go. There we go. Start it off. We got a new species for 2020. We went right after this tiny little um, crankbait. It's a great multi-species um, blur if you're ever looking at that. Um, that actually might be a shiner. I'll have to... Thanks. I just stole your... That may be the same species as the first fish. Let's do a... Uh... Drop shot rig, but I'm going to use these Berkeley these Berkeley uh, power baits, um, the drop shot power bass uh, minnow. They're, they're three inches and uh, they got good scent, 
good looking color. Let's try it on the drop shot. All right, I uh, picked a terrible day to forget my GoPros, but we have been tasked with culling this overpopulated lake or pond here in this neighborhood. And we're gonna load up a cooler and bring it to a pond on the other side of the neighborhood. Um, so let's see what we can get. I already hooked up with like a three pound bass and I lost it, but let's keep going. Neil's hooking up across the lake. Bring it in, Neil Bo. Should we fill the cooler? Alright, he's a little bit bigger than we're going to keep, uh, but that drop shot is uh, working really well so far. All right, Neil, bring it over. Let's. I don't know. They all look good size. Look I think I should go back. Unless he wants to. That looks nice. Uh, on the drop shot, Berk Berkeley minnow there. Got a, uh, one that we will be moving on to a different pond. Uh, buddy, come on. Come on. Man, fish. That's a big blue. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he was eating up on. There we go, we doubled Dude, up. That's how big that bluegill is. <laughs> that is crazy. Transfer, transfer these over to another private pond across yeah. the neighborhood. All right, this little pond's gonna be their uh, new home. All right, Andy, here's your bass's new home. Looks like they're all doing all right. All right I couldn't hold the camera when we let those go, but they now live in here. Really pale looking bluegill. Two on the blue. I'm using a gold trout magnet hook because when it's really sunny like this, I find that gold has a really nice flicker in the water. Hey, I found a treasure. I found a treasure. Uh, we got a frog on a braid. Just left here on the bank. Cool.